Hello, in this session we will talk about SAP HANA certifications. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. SAP HANA in-memory database is getting popular very rapidly these days, so it's a good idea to look into the certification options for SAP HANA for those who want to progress in this area. There are two certification streams available for SAP HANA, one for technical consultants dealing with the core technology and the other for application consultant dealing with the applied technology. The first stream will test you if you know how to use core SAP HANA tools and the second stream will test you whether you know how to apply these tools to develop application for the business. For the technical stream we have technical associate certification available and it is called SAP Certified Technology Associate, SAP HANA 1.0. Technical consultants could avail this certification. The exam that you need to write to achieve this certification is called C HANA TAC 1. Keep in mind there is no requirement from SAP that you have to take courses from SAP to achieve this certification, you can simply write this exam either by taking courses from SAP or by self-studying. I'm going to address the study path in another video, but for now, understand that this is the exam you have to write to achieve Technology Associate Certificate. You have 80 questions and 180 minutes. In associate level certifications, the practical experience is preferred, but not mandatory as such. However, there will be some questions in the exam that will expect that you have some practical experience. In the exam, core topics are addressed like data provisioning, installation, security and authorization, system architecture. This is not a complete list, but just to give you an example, application consultants who are more interested in applied technology could avail SAP Certified Application Associate, SAP HANA 1. So this is again associate level certification standing at the same level as the certification you saw earlier, but this is more for applied topics and the other one was more for core topics. In order to achieve Application Associate Certification, you need to write this exam, C HANA IMP1. Again, you don't have to take courses from SAP. You can take courses from elsewhere or take courses from SAP or you can do self-study. All you have to do is write this exam. This is an associate level certification, so practical experience is preferred, not really required. There will be some questions on the exam that would expect you to possess some experience. Like most exams, you will be asked 80 questions and you will have 180 minutes. The passing score for both technical and application associate certifications is 65%. The exam covers applied topics. Here is a list of few examples, not a complete list. Business content, data modeling, data provisioning, optimization, reporting, security and authorization. So here is what we have seen so far. There are two streams, technical and application. So technical stream is testing core topics and you can achieve certification called technology associate. And we have application stream which is testing the applied topics and you can achieve application associate certification. Both certifications that you're seeing on the screen are associate level certification. SAP does offer a professional level certification for the second stream and the technical stream doesn't have the certification at the moment. SAP may bring that in the picture in near future, but for now we have professional certification for application consultants. So once you have achieved application associate certification and you have gained some practical experience, you can go towards professional certification. Let's take a look at what is included in this certification. So the name is SAP Certification Application Professional, SAP HANA 1, and you need to write the exam called P HANA IMP 1. Again, you don't have to take courses from SAP, however, you must have practical experience, otherwise you will not be able to pass this exam. It is not really testing the theoretical knowledge as such, 
or conce conceptual knowledge it is testing the applied knowledge and you won't be able to answer these questions most likely if you don't have the practical experience and even if you pass this exam without practical experience not gonna look good on the resume without practical experience so keep that in mind this certification goes well with some experience the professional certification will test your depth of knowledge more aggressively than the associate level certification some of the topics are same some are additional here for example data modeling data provisioning life cycle management optimization and performance reporting security and authorization system architecture so these are just examples and not a complete list now let's talk about the cost of the three certifications that I have talked about SAP certifications are costly and I have covered in detail in another video whether it makes sense to achieve certifications or not it's not a yes and no absolute answer it depends on your situation so you might want to take that video but here uh, I have given the cost for the three certifications available for SAP HANA $500 for the associate level certifications both technical and application and uh, 750 US dollars for the professional level certification.